Okay, looking at uh, sanding, all this product is dry sanded. The gray EcoFill product has carbon in it, that's why it's charcoal gray. And if you were to wet sand this, everywhere there was a run from the water, it would have leave a hard edge that you would not be able to hide. You would have to actually go through, spray another coat, and dry sand it. We use 320 open coat sandpaper. This stuff will dull out before it loads up. And one of the key things to remember is this is fabric, and as I talked about earlier, there are some caution areas you need to pay attention to. Structure, the hard edges. And in the open bays, when you're sanding, after you've built up a couple layers of ecofill, you come in and you start sanding, you know it's working. You, you've let it dry long enough to where you're getting dust and not little balls of ecofill. This is where you prep. This is what gives you the smooth surface, as with anything. It's all in the prep. The more, the smoother the surface you want uh, in the final finish, you have to build it with the EcoFill. This is where you spray and sand, spray and sand, spray and sand. It actually sands rather quickly. And the important thing, when it comes time for blowing it off, I like to use the clean, dry shop air, the same air that you'd be using to spray with so that you're not putting any contamination, any water or oils on there. And we like to use a, a pack rags designed for waterborne products. There's no beeswax in these. And we're going to blow and wipe at the same time to remove the dust. And if you cannot find or do not have a, a outlet for the waterborne tack, rack, or tack rags designed for waterborne products, you can give us a call at the factory and we'll send some to you. So very important to blow and wipe the dust off between coats so that you don't have an issue with uh, separation between layers. Again, dry sanding only, 320 open coat or red Scotch-Brite.